Hi guys, welcome to this channel. Dado here from Dado Not Gaming. Guys, the X52, where do I start? Okay, so I was on Marketplace and I thought it would be cool for my son to play Flight Simulator with uh, throttle and uh, stick. So I found, I got this thing for like 15 bucks. It was insane, right? I get it home, I get it to working, I download the drivers that, you know, for the Logitech drivers. I set it up and I was just amazed. Like one of the one of the, the buttons, the C button was actually missing and I was able to 3D print a replacement and uh, it's it's good as new. Anyway, the thing is like, so I have since taken over this with Elite Dangerous. I've taken over <laughs> the throttle and the stick. I mean, it's available to him, but he, he doesn't seem to enjoy it quite like I do. Anyway, the thing is, so as I was playing Elite, I noticed that I would play the game for about 15 minutes and then the lights would, like it would power cycle. And when it power cycled, it would recalibrate the, the zero on the stick to the position that it was in, you know, when it cycled the power. So when it powered back up, and it would only be for just a second that it was down, which really wasn't a big deal. But the problem is, once it recalibrated itself, say if you had the stick in the upper left-hand corner uh, during a maneuver, and it did that, then now that becomes zero. And when you go back to zero, it sends you into a death span, right, <laughs> basically. So the thing is, if you were to be interdicted um, with that happening, like... You're, you're a goner in Elite. So what I had to do at, at that time, what I was doing, I would unplug the USB, um, you know, attachment, plug it back in, go back to the Logitech software and reload my um, profile that I had set for Elite Dangerous. And this went on for a while and, you know, I was kind of limping along. It was working, but, you know, I, I had to continuously reset it every few minutes. And... Eventually, what I did to fix this, um, and, and I saw online, some people were talking about using powered USB hubs, which I did, and it didn't work for me. Um, for me, it, it, it seemed like the problem got a little worse with the hub that I have. So what I ended up doing was I gave up. <laughs> like, I got on one day, and I didn't load the Logitech software. I didn't start it up before starting my game. I didn't load a profile. Um, the LED on my throttle, the blue, um, you know, the little blue screen, it's not lit up and it doesn't say a profile that I have loaded, you know, but I, I noticed it was working in the game and I thought, you know what, let's just try this. And in fact, like it's worked since I haven't had any issues. I haven't had to reset it at all. I haven't had any power, um, cycling issues. It just just works so I would suggest if you have the same problem that I do and I couldn't find an answer for it just just don't load the Logitech software don't don't even mess with that you don't need it and it really it breaks it breaks the stick for me in Windows 10 but anyways guys thanks for watching I hope this helps somebody because uh, you know I wish I could have had this information the day that I bought the thing so uh, but yeah Check out our channel, um, Dad or Not Gaming. Look, we got Dad or Not on Twitch and Dad or Not on YouTube. Uh, I'm Dado. I, I love space games. I'm a dad. And uh, yeah, just come, let's join a community. Let's build a community. And uh, let's have fun together. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope it helps. See ya. Bye.